Hello and welcome to this webinar for the Graduate Certificate in Religious Education Primary. My name is Christine, I am the Student Recruitment Manager here at Campion College and it is my pleasure to speak with you today about this course. Today we'll be talking about the structure and delivery of the course as well as some important information regarding the admission process. However, before we jump right in, I'd like to begin with a very brief introduction to Campion College. On the slide here, you can see an aerial shot of our beautiful Western Sydney campus. Campion College was established in 2006 as Australia's first liberal arts college. We're a private Catholic institution and our main undergraduate qualification is a Bachelor of Arts in the Liberal Arts. This degree provides a foundational education covering units in history, literature, philosophy, theology, science and classical languages. Our graduates typically go on to pursue vocational specialization studies at other institutions. And we have graduates across just about every field imaginable, including journalism, business, law, medicine, evangelization, academia, and politics. We also have a number of students who go on to pursue careers in teaching. And so the graduate certificate in religious education was a natural fit for our first postgraduate course. The graduate certificate in religious education primary is a postgraduate qualification designed as a professional development course for religious education teachers. It can also be used as a foundation for students seeking a qualification in theology. Students will develop a body of knowledge related to theological studies and the course will equip you to undertake professional work related to this specialization. In essence, our course is designed to develop your knowledge and practical classroom skills equally and this can be seen in the learning outcomes for the grad cert. Outcome A, develop specialized knowledge related to religious education, including acquaintance with relevant contemporary scholarship in this field. Outcome B, synthesize relevant data from contemporary scholarship from theologians and educators to develop solutions to issues encountered in their professional work in the field of religious education. Outcome C, apply specialized knowledge to evaluate complex ideas that have an impact on the teaching for religious education. Outcome D, Communicate an understanding of the specialized knowledge of religious education to a variety of audiences, including primary school students of different developmental levels, other staff members, religious education specialists, parents and carers of their students. Outcome E, make independent judgments related to religious education. It's coordination and the management and ongoing formation of other religious education staff within a primary school setting. And outcome F, function independently as a religious education specialist within a school context and adapt programs to the needs of the local community. Students who enroll in the Grad Cert will complete four compulsory units of study and you must achieve a pass or higher in each unit in order to graduate. There are no prerequisites for any of the units and the average student will take two years to complete the course by studying one unit per semester. Now, it is possible to complete the course in a shorter time frame. However, most students find that it is easiest to balance one unit per semester with their work and their personal commitments. Campion College has two semesters per year. For specific semester dates, please refer to the academic calendar on our website. However, generally speaking, semester one runs from March through June and semester two runs from August through November. Please refer to the Campion College website for information on unit offerings for each semester. Our student admissions and admin team will also guide you on which unit to commence with and your unit sequencing throughout your time with us. However, to give you a brief overview of those units on offer now. In RED 501, Historical Context of Catholic Teaching. Students trace the historical development of Catholic life and teaching and explore how this can be presented to students at various levels. In RED 502, Catechesis in Sacramental Theology, students will develop a body of knowledge related to education in sacramentality and sacraments of students in primary schools. In RED 503, Challenges and Strategies in Religious Education, students will explore developmental theory and curriculum principles applicable to the religious education of students. And in RED 504, Introduction to Biblical Studies, Students will develop a body of knowledge related to the Bible and its interpretation according to the Catholic tradition. You are welcome to visit our website for more detailed unit outlines. 
as well as the learning outcomes related to each unit. Looking now at some of the more practical elements of the course. All of the course contact will take place online. In fact, it is a 100% online course. You will take part in a one hour tutorial via Microsoft Teams each week. Beyond this one hour tutorial, the rest of the time you spend on your studies is entirely up to you. And we have found that the average student will spend an additional two to four hours on the course each week. This time will be spent on reading the course material, preparing for tutorials and completing any assignments. Now you don't have to sit in on a live lecture or listen to pre-recorded materials. This means that you can set aside time to consult the materials all in one go, or you can chip away at them throughout the week if that is your preference. Uh, some weeks you might fly through your tutorial prep, other weeks you might take a little longer, and at various points you will have to work on assignments. So two to four hours per week is a good range to keep in mind. Throughout the semester, you'll be required to submit two major essays one halfway through the semester and one at the end of the semester. You also need to submit some responses to your class notes in weeks 4, 8 and 12. There's no final exam, so once you submit that second essay in week 13, you are done for the semester. All course materials, including course readings, will be available via Moodle and all students will have access to an orientation module on Moodle, which contains explanatory documents, welcome videos and contact details for key staff members. All students also have access to our online library resources, which come in handy for assignments, and our Learning Skills Advisor. Our Learning Skills Advisor is a full-time member of staff who is available to assist you with things like research and essay writing. You can connect via email or you can organise a consult over the phone. As we come to the end of this webinar, I'll be wrapping up with a few words on tuition and the admission process. In terms of fees, the entire course will cost just under $8,000. Your fees for each semester can be paid upfront, or you can defer your fees in full or in part against fee help. Our enrollment form also provides the option for you to advise whether an institution is making an upfront contribution on your behalf. Now, there are a number of schools and education departments who have scholarship and reimbursement schemes available to support the professional development of their teachers. So if you are currently working as a teacher, I do encourage you to reach out to your religious education coordinator or your principal to see if this may be an option for you. Looking now at admission, we have a simple three-step process. Step one, apply. Step two, receive your offer. And step three, enroll. We accept applications all year round, but ask you to submit your application at least two weeks before the start of the semester. Semester dates and the application deadlines can be found on our website. As part of step one, you will need to obtain a copy of your undergrad transcript and upload this with the online application form. Once we've received your application, we will organize a phone or a video interview with one of our academics. Now, this interview doesn't make or break your application. It's really just a chance for us to get to know you and find out what you are hoping to achieve by undertaking the course. Once you enroll, you can also apply for recognition of prior learning. And students who have completed prior undergraduate studies or postgraduate studies in theology may be eligible for a maximum six credit points or one unit of study under our RPL guidelines. For general course information, the application form and additional admission information, please visit the links on our screen. This concludes our webinar on the Graduate Certificate in Religious Education Primary. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact me directly. It is my job to answer any and all questions, no matter how big or small, so please feel free to call or email at any time.